In this short video, we'll talk about the process of oxidative deamination. In short, this is a step in the catabolism of amino acid. That means breakdown of the amino acid involves this particular step. Let us try to understand how. So this is the overview of amino acid catabolism. The detailed video is provided in the I button. So let's say you have four amino acid. Each of these amino acid has amino groups and all of that would ultimately form glutamate. So all of these amino acid can be converted to glutamate. Then it can be converted to ammonia. That means the amino group is taken away from the amin amino acid. So this ammonia is toxic. Eventually it can go through the urea cycle and forms urea. So the first part is transamination. The second part, that means from glutamate to the production of ammonia, this step is known as deamination. And lastly, there is urea cycle. So relevant videos are provided in the I button. But let us look at the oxidative deamination in a bit more details. So we understood that glutamate will be converted to alpha ketoglutarate and the ammonia will be released. And this is triggered by glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme. So this particular reaction is taking place in the liver principally. So ammonia is toxic. That's why ammonia would be transformed into urea via the process of urea cycle. This enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase is situated in the liver mitochondria. So if you look at the liver mitochondria, we'll find these glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme is pretty abundant. Glutamate dehydrogenase is a homohexameric allosteric enzyme and it can, it's an enzyme which is a bit different from the others because it can bind to NAD and NADP simultaneously. I mean, it can bind to both of them. So if we look at the monomeric structure of glutamate dehydrogenase, this, this somehow look like this particular structure. So it has a cofactor binding domain and it has a substrate binding domain and both of these domains are connected by a hinge domain. Now on substrate binding, there are conformational changes. So the hinge helix is kind of rotated in such a way that two domains come closer to each other, closing the cleft. Here we see the substrate binding and ultimately it leads to closure of these two um, domains and the pivot helix or this hinge domain participate in this process. So now we look at the allosteric activators and inhibitors of these enzymes. So the allosteric activator involves NAD, NADP and ATP whereas the allosteric inhibitor is the GTP. So the closed conformation is required for catalysis but the open conformation is required for the association or dissociation of substrate and product. So here is a close and the active conformation. In the closed state, GTP uh, forms hydrogen bond with histidine 5, uh, 454 residue. GTP binding actually favors the closed state. Whereas the uh, in open state, arginine 463 interacts with ADP. So this is overall structural details of this uh, proteins. And it's kind of like, not really relevant or necessary to understand each details. Another enzyme that is important for oxidative deamination is monoamine oxidase. Monoamine oxidase converts neurotransmitters such as serotonin into a corresponding aldehyde and ultimately it free up ammonia. So that means degradation of um, neurotransmitters such as epinephrine and serotonin requires monoamine oxidase A and monoamine acid oxidase B. So whenever the neurotransmitters are reuptaken by the presynaptic cleft, there are enzymes such as monoamine oxidase A which can break them down and thereby reducing the concentration of serotonin in the synaptic cleft. But in case of depression, several medications are used as a monoamine oxidase inhibitor and that allows or prevents the degradation of serotonin. That means serotonin would be present in the synaptic cleft for longer duration. And from that point of view, monoamine oxidase inhibitors are really important to treat depression. So I hope this video was short and it summarized the enzymatic processes. 
that in uh, that kind of regulate the process of uh, oxidative deamination you can get some notes regarding this topic in my facebook channel link uh, uh, link is provided in the description as usual like share and subscribe you can support my channel in patreon you can follow me on unacademy which is india's biggest online learning platform you can use my code ap10 to get a 10% discount see you in the next video all my social media links are provided in description as well